This episode of Get It is brought to you by Get It. In movies, we are totally accustomed to the fact that sometimes they need to put characters in front of a green screen. That's movie special effects 101 actually. But sometimes they seem to use blue screens instead of green screens. And we care because... Let's find out. <laughs> Here's how it works. You shoot a character in front of a screen that's composed of a narrowly defined color, whether it's green or blue or any other color. Then you completely remove this color from your shot. You now have a shot of your character only, with no background. You can now compose your character with another background. And with computers and digital composition, it has become quite easy, actually. The whole process is called keying and the background itself is called the chroma key. But why do we use blue or green screens? Wouldn't you ask the same question if we were using orange or pink backgrounds? No. Because there's a pretty good reason, dumbass. First of all, Caucasian human skin has a pinkish hue, and pink is as far from green or blue as it gets. But human skin color, in general, Caucasian or not, is almost not composed at all of green or blue. Yeah, right. Movies have kid characters out of blue screens for decades, and even if it was sometimes poorly rendered, you had to live in the 80s to love the 80s, dude. It worked pretty well when the special effects supervisors knew what they were doing. I love you, YLM guys. But with digital cameras, we started to use green screen more often. And here's why. The retina in our eyes is composed of two kinds of receptors that can detect light, or photoreceptors, namely the rods and the cones. The rod cells, or rods, are the receptors that can detect the intensity of light, regardless its color. While cones detect the color and don't care that much about brightness, they actually work pretty bad in the dark. And that's why in the dark most things appear in black and white. Most people have three kinds of cone cell, S, M and L. In that case, one size doesn't fit all. Am I right, guys? S cones detect bluish colors, M cones detect greenish colors, and L cones detect reddish colors. So why not call them RGB cones? Because their name is related to the wavelength of the colors. Blue colors have a small wavelength in the visible spectrum, uh, green is middle, and red is large. Wait, so my joke about the size was not a joke at all. And most humans, why do you keep saying most humans? Because we're all different and some of us detect light and colors in a slightly different way, uh, using only two kinds of cones or sometimes even four kinds of cones. But most of us have these three kinds of cones, and most of us have more M cones, the green cones, than the others. About half of our cones are M cones, and we have 25% S cones and 25% L cones. All right, so we can see green easily, and that's why we use green screens. No. Actually, we can see red easily, because uh, our green cones can also detect some bluish colors, and our blue cones can also detect some greenish colors. All right? So... Digital cameras use a sensor to detect light and create digital pictures. And this sensor is made of a matrix of tiny photoreceptors. The amount of those photoreceptors, as well as the size of the sensor, define your camera resolution. And those receptors can only detect brightness, not colors. So in order to get the colors, we add some layers of filters above the photoreceptors some red, green, and blue filters. This way, a photoreceptor that's under a red filter will only detect red light, and so on. Digital camera sensors are made to kind of see the colors the way we see colors. That's why those filters have generally been arranged in a way called a Bayer arrangement, or Bayer filter mosaic. This arrangement pattern is 50% green, 25% blue, and 25% red. Just like our eyes, thanks. Captain Obvious. So digital camera recording resolution for greens is double that of the other colors. And that's why we use green screens. I get it. So why do we keep using blue screens sometimes? Yeah, why? <laughs> Resolute much? Well, first of all, blue screens were used long before the invention of digital cameras, but that's not the only reason. There's also what we call color spill. Green screens are much brighter than blue screens and sometimes the green tend to spill on other bright colors. For example, blonde hair in front of a green screen will turn orange or reddish. Therefore, it's sometimes preferable to use a blue screen, which, being darker, needs more lighting and therefore is more expensive. Okay, so we use blue or green screens, depending on what we shoot and whether or not we can afford it. Yes, and obviously, if you're gonna shoot the Blue Man group, 
you use a green screen. So tell me now, do you get it? That's today's episode, guys, and please don't forget class, comment, like, ask, share, and subscribe. And share and subscribe. And share and subscribe. See you guys.